we are going to be swatching and reviewing the brand new Bella Primavera palette from Bella & Co. It's another incredible indie brand that I actually have not tried yet. So I'm really, really excited to dive into this. Um, before I get into it too far, though, um, I do want to address something, okay? Um, a lot of some of my favorite indie brands do have, like, normal jobs that they work, and then they do their cosmetics also. And a lot of them have been affected by the coronavirus, losing their jobs, or just not being able to go to their jobs and collect a paycheck right now. So um, they're relying 100% on their cosmetics for any kind of income during this time. So I will leave a link down below in the description box of some of my favorite indie brands, ones that particularly are affected by this. Um, I will make a note of, but th at least that I know for sure. Um, but if you have any way of supporting them, I 100% recommend it. And also one of them is Star Gem Cosmetics who just made me an affiliate. So I will have my code and my special link for you guys to click down below. My new code is Lalana D, all caps. And as you guys know, like I've promoted that brand several times on this channel. I'm actually planning on using some of their products today. So 100% love that brand, love their products, stand behind them 100%. All the time like I promote them all the time but now I'm actually part of the team so <laughs> that's amazing I am so thankful like thank you journey you're incredible um, so yeah I will have all of that listed below in the description and this may I I will leave the link of course for Bella and Co as well but um, they, they may end up being on my list of favorite indie brands let's see now, as you can see, I've already done my foundation and everything, my brows. <laughs> so we're going to dive into this. I don't have any makeup wipes with me, though. <laughs> They're all at Aunt Judy's. I've like gone through my like backup. Like I had like one here and one at Aunt Judy's, and I've gone through the one that I had here. So I put some alcohol on paper towel. <laughs> we're going to see if that works to kind of help with the swatching. But... um this palette, the like component itself is so pretty. It came completely like wrapped, so it's 100% safe. And then it has this little component here. And like some of the detailing on the flowers is like slightly raised. It just has like a cool feel to it. And then of course the uh, ingredients are listed on the back. And there's kind of like a little sparkly glitter moment going on there. I love that. Like, the packaging is so good. It's so good. I'm so excited. And the palette is kind of the same story. Like, the flowers have, like, a slightly raised texture to them. Very, very nice. And then here is the color story. Of course, there's, like, a little mirror. And then here's our color story. Very pretty, like, spring moment. And I don't know if you can, like, really see it, but there's, like, slight glittery... It's not really showing up very well here. Maybe if I get a little closer. Okay, you can kind of see it up here, like where the mirror is. Like the entire inside of it has that same kind of glittery thing going on that this does. The packaging alone has me like, oh. Well, let's see how I feel about the eyeshadow. And... Um, I will add the first 50 orders of this get this really cool makeup bag. Um, it has like this kind of iridescent -y thing going on. Now, I don't know what all I'm going to fit in this little bag because y'all know, like, I get like the biggest like Jeffree Star bag that he has for makeup. That's what I travel with. Like, I take a lot of makeup with me. I don't use it all, but I take it because I might want it. <laughs> I'm an overpacker, okay? Just. Don't judge me. But I plan on using this for something because this is so cool. And the first 50 orders got this for free. So if you hurry, there might still be some bags to go with the palette. The palette's only $15. And honestly, like, it looks really nice. Like, I'm excited. So let's dive into it because I'm going to play. Oh, very pigmented, very, very pigmented. 
I'm getting very excited. I love some of these shade names too. Ooh, I love a white that shows up on my pasty skin. Ashley, you did that. You did that, girl. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Rubbing alcohol on a paper towel. It's working really good. <laughs> I am the queen of improving. <laughs> okay, so the first row we have Daylily, Rose, Grass is Greener, and Bunny. And then I started on the second row with Honesty. And I don't know if it's really showing up on the swatch but daylily actually has like a little bit of like glittery flex in it very pretty so pretty y'all know i love purple so i'm just like oh hi <laughs> we're just gonna keep on going these feel very buttery oh even this glittery one yes Okay. I'm just going to start going down the side here. Okay. So, starting from the second color in the second row, we have uh, Tulip, Earth, Sunshine, which is such a pretty, it's like a little like gold shimmer. And then we have Carnation and Cherry Blossom. And then we just have two more. And unfortunately, this first one is like almost my skin tone, so it's not showing up very well, but that's not anything to do with the makeup and everything to do with the fact that I am a pasty Peggy. Okay? Don't. Don't be disheartened. All right. So then we have Hazel, which again, like I said, is like almost my skin tone. So it's not really showing up. And then this amazing orange is called Daisy. So we're going to play now. I can't wait. Like I know I want that purple, but I also kind of want that green. It's so vibrant. Like, oh my gosh. Let's dive in. I'm going to set my eyes with hazel because it's literally like almost my skin tone. That'll be perfect. Now, I'm going to go in with tulip. This is blending really, really well so far, I have to say. Now, I think I'm going to do Honesty in the crease. And Honesty, <laughs> Honesty, Honestly, um, there really isn't a whole lot of like kickback in the pan. Like it's not coming apart or anything. Very good quality. I'm very impressed. That was really pretty. Now we're going to go in with Daylily. I'm so excited. It's so pretty looking. Now we're just going to take Daylily underneath as well. If I can get my brush. <laughs> okay, now for my inner corner, I'm actually going to use the highlighter that I plan on using. Because really the only shimmery pigment in here is the yellow. That's like the 
only thing I'm not crazy about is that there's only one like super shimmery shade. But if you like matte shadows, like this is a good, good palette. We all know I'm about the shimmer though. <laughs> they do have like an all glitter palette though, which I think might be like $20 or it might be the same price as this palette. Like it's either 15 or 20, I can't remember, but I'm kind of eyeballing it. <laughs> low key, low key eyeballing that one. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Now, for the highlight, I am using my favorite highlighter from Star Gem Cosmetics because um, it's bomb. That's, that's all you need to know. It's incredible. It's like the greatest highlighter ever. And she makes it herself. I'm just saying. I don't know if you guys can really see it. There's like little glitters in it. Like it's so freaking pretty, guys. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to wet it down so like you guys can see the maximum, maximum effect. Like it's so good. There you go. Now you can really see it shine. Like it's so beautiful and it is available on their website as a loose powder right now. It's called Shooting Star and it's like my favorite highlighter ever. I may or may not have one coming for a future giveaway. I'm just saying. There we go. And actually on my lips, I already have my uh, Selenite lip gloss because I'm just promoting indie brands in this video, period. Like They deserve it. They really do. Um, I love this look. I love this palette. These performed so well. Very, very good formula. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I had never bought anything from this brand, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I saw this and I really loved the uh, packaging. I loved the colors and I was like, okay, it's time for me to try Bell & Co. And I am not disappointed in this at all. Like, I mean, honestly, like my only complaint is there's only one shimmer shade really, but that's just a me thing. There's a lot of people who complain about there being too many shimmer shades. So you can't please everyone. I'm not complaining in the least. Like that's, this is a good palette. I'm, I'm very happy with this purchase. So thank you, Bella and co. I'll probably be back. Y'all fixing to get my wallet. Thanks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I will have a list of some of my favorite indie brands down below. If you have the means by any means and you are looking for makeup, check them out, okay? Because they're seriously relying on their like cosmetics as their only income right now. And uh, I would really appreciate if you helped them out. <laughs> like I did my best, but I have a platform. I'm going to use it to help them as much as I can. And like I said, Star Gym Cosmetics, this highlighter, and use my code and you get 25% off. It's a steal. Steal it. All right. That's all for this one. Um, I have an idea for a fun video for our next video. It, it might be, it might be a little entertaining. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>